Today I will be explaining to you how I stream my DJ sets live on Twitch. Uh, actually, I just recently started doing that because we're in the midst of the uh, Corona pandemic and a lot of parties happen from home. And actually, we had a very awesome party last night um, where I was streaming my DJ sets to Twitch my DJ set to Twitch, and then it was rebroadcasted in a Zoom group conferencing thing, and everyone was in front of their computers and dressed up and dancing, and I was watching the tiles while DJing, and it was a lot of fun. So, I'm going to explain to you how I do this. And I'm going to explain this through a controller setup, so uh, in my case specifically a tractor setup, so I use tractor software, and the Traktor S5 controller, it works the same with other Traktor controllers as well. And um, I use a bunch of software. So, let me first of all tell you which software you need to get. You need to get OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, from this website, obsproject.com. And you need the Soundflower application which is a virtual um, sound card, so to say. Um, if you go to Softonic, you look for, for Soundflower, you will find it. Um, and it allows different applications to access your sound card. This is very specifically, this tutorial focused on Mac OS, um, because on Windows, things work very differently, at least they used to when it comes down to sound, so I'm not going to go into that. So, okay, if you've installed Soundflower and OBS, OBS was, by the way, this uh, thing that is used for broadcasting streams, um, but I will explain more about it in a bit. After you've installed both of them and um, we're in a situation that our controller is connected to our uh, uh, MacBook and it's turned on, we open Audio MIDI Setup. Audio MIDI Setup can be opened under Finder, Applications, Utilities, there's Audio MIDI Setup. Um, and this is a thing where a lot of all your audio devices uh, are shown in Mac OS. And here we need to create a new device. We press the plus here, we say create aggregate device. This merges multiple devices into one actually. And we've already created one here. This is uh, Divana S5 slash Soundflower aggregate. Um, and then you go into the list when you create it and you select your tractor controller or the sound card that you're using. So mine is tractor control S5 plus the Soundflower 2 channel. You select them both. You make sure up here that your clock source is the tractor controller and you check the drift correction for the Soundflower. Now here it shows schematically what's going on. The subdevices, the control S5 and the Soundflower, then the input channels of both combined and the output channels. So the, the red ones already had names, the ones for the S5, the green ones I renamed, the input channels I made uh, I renamed to SF in 1 and SF in 2 and SF out 1 and SF out for the output channels. <coughs> this is useful for when we look at it in the software. Now, when you're done with that, you open Traktor. Bum, bum, bum. Let me restart my Traktor. Okay, so you start your Traktor and Uh, I've turned my resolution into very hard, horrifically low to make this video very visible. But anyway, Tractor Pro 3, you go to your settings and in audio setup, here Tractor Control S5 is selected normally. 
but then you select your new aggregate device, Divana S5 Sunflower Agger. And make sure that here the latency is below 10. So if you have a too big buffer size, you see it goes over 10. Now this can cause problems if your MacBook is very old and you can't put it very low. You have to experiment with this a little bit first. But um, anything below 10 is good, so 9.7, it makes the controller and the software highly responsive, and I know my system can handle that. Then you go to output setup, output routing, monitor and master, you select the regular ones, master left and right uh, for the master, and monitor left and right for the monitor, monitor is the headphones of course. And in output records, which is nice that Tractor has this, I'm assuming other software also has this. I'm not sure about Serato, Virtual DJ, Record Box, etc., but probably they do. You select your Soundflower Out 1 and Out 2, the ones that you renamed yourself in output record. And it's nice to have your microphone connected. So in Tractor, I have if I go to input routing here, I have an input deck C. I have just the one of the mic monos, which is the microphone connection on my actual S5. I have it connected here. Um, and we can test it. Hello. Yeah, the meter is showing. So it's connected. And then um, that means that we can close this. And this is the microphone is in deck C, right? So deck C for me is live input. You select that here. And then you can tweak it while you are DJing and speaking on the mic with the volume faders, with the gain, etc. Uh, sometimes you have to put it quite high for the input to uh, become loud enough. Anyway, you have to experiment with that yourself, what settings work for you. Now, we are nearly ready to broadcast. One thing we need to do still is we need to go to OBS. And here, we first of all, in the audio mixer, we have desktop audio and mic slash auxiliary. We mute that last one because otherwise we will have two interfering inputs in this scenario. We just have the desktop audio and we go back to that audio MIDI setup thing here and there we make sure that Soundflower 2 channel is selected for sound input. This is the inputs of the Soundflower 2 channel which are now getting their audio from the aggregate device. Now, uh, we've also added a video source here. It's my webcam uh, on my MacBook. Um, you do that by creating the plus here, video capture device, and you can then add whatever device you want, etc. And we're nearly ready to stream. Of course, normally you would set up your uh, webcam in the right position in front of your decks, etc. But um, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to load one song into my track tour and show you that we are going to have an input let me see see we have a little input going there yeah and then it disappears okay awesome um yeah, now all we need to do, oh, let me just stop this. All we need to do is we need to um, make sure that we can stream via Twitch. So we go to the Twitch website, we open up an account, etc. And then we go to our settings. There's the stream key and preferences. There is your primary stream key, you copy that. You don't show it to anyone else because otherwise they can stream on your channel. And then in OBS, you go to settings 
and you go to stream and you put your stream key there and now whenever you hit start streaming it will stream into Twitch yeah awesome so I wish you all a lot of luck with the streaming and if you have any questions you can post them in the comments or you can ask them to me personally <laughs> bye bye